what is up what's good person back again with another video so for me right now it's now or never to get rid of this plastic toxic owners that we have genuinely like it's, it's, it's a big chance sir jim ratcliffe actually is interested in buying my united in my opinion glazers right now should sell too you know because time is up for them you know so in this video right, i'm going to be talking about the amount of times that the glazers even the board like edward Wood, richard arnold they've all lied right to my united fans taken taken advantage of of my united as well so that so that's what i'm going to talk about um in this video and the things that have stuck out for me the most if i've missed out anything guys just comment down below so other my united fans can see it because we need to put pressure on them they need to leave they need to leave they are holding my united back they are literally driving my united to the to the floor bro like they put our standards to the floor like yeah they, they need to go but the first one of course is richard arnold lying straight up to the face right of um a few minors a few a few min minor support a few weeks ago uh, there were a few minor supporters right that actually got to sit down and talk with, with richard arnold the ceo right of my of, of my united um, and asked ab about where the direction of, of the club is going the guy blatantly came out right and said that there's money to spend there's 200 million to spend right for this summer where is this money what's happened with this money like it, it, i was not surprised when i seen this because again he's just saving his skin the guy is just another version of ed woodard right? that that's literally what it is like he, he just he, uh, the thing is too right murder um and him they were in barcelona to try to secure frankie de Jong. nothing's happened and look what they've done now they've put ten Hag right in this horrible situation where he he literally is going into the season right with with not even one arm both arms behind his back fam still with the same untr same untrustworthy players right that were there last season who are continuing to leak stuff out right now guys you know and then the next one right last year the whole super league bull crap what they tried to pull off with the other useless idiots such as that stan concrete fam you get what i mean like these guys bro they're so bad right and and, and even gary neville said as well like if Joe Glazer puts anything to his name, it's, it's never good. It's never good. He put his name to that Super League bullcrap uh, along with, with the Florentino Perez too, right? And the whole backlash he got from the fans last year, the, the protest. I went to that protest, by the way. I went to that Upu protest. I, I got the scarf fan, right? That whole protest, he, after that, he did, this guy came out. He was like, oh... I'm, I'm gonna do a lot, you know, to um, have more conversations with the minor fans or uh, uh, go to games more. Man only did that webcam interview right, with the fans once, and and now he, he's, he, he's not doing it. He's, he's not long. He's not longer talking to fans, fam. He, they're just liars. That's what they are, bro. All they just care about is money, dividends, take. Oh, how much are we making? Or oh, from the latest kit, is 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 is, is, is Adidas happy? Or oh, Tezos, uh, Snapdragon fam, like he's always, that's what he cares about money and sponsors and talking about money, right? The dividends fam, the amount of dividends that these guys have come out and taken out from United, it's over a billion. A few weeks ago, right, when we're in for Frankie De Jong, Frankie De Jong, right, had um. Uh, deferred wages right that that was meant right to to be paid by him but by by barcelona 17 million owed to frankie de jong few and literally like what was it three weeks before uh fi fi finding out about this the glazers took out dividends for for my united like it was over 10 million right why why couldn't they just leave that like that 10 mil to put into frankie de jong's deferred wages so so we can actually get him into the club like why couldn't they just do that? Again, it's just the selfishness, bro. They are never in for my eyes best interest. They're just PR spin bullcrap. That's all they do, guys. Genuinely. Also, right now, since uh, Jim Ratcliffe's come out, since the fans um, um are saying but boycott Man United, M to Old Trafford, right? Since the whole thing with Marco and Arnautovic and the fans getting on their cases, emailing them, attacking them on Twitter literally review bombing all the uh, <laughs> things that they're associated with from like hotels resorts stadiums right now now they want to spend 70 million on casemiro and offering 400 grand a week now they actually want to pay the money to ajax for anthony fam 
But this is just the spin, guys. Do not believe this. Do they, that this is what they want to do. This is what they 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 are going to do, right? To try to appease my United fans. This is what they'll do. It happens all the time. Di Maria. Remember when um, Moyes first came, right? And um, we were trying to get uh, Ander Herrera. And somehow we got Fellaini, the only one signing that season. Falcao fan. Paul Pogba. Alexis Sanchez. This always happens. Whenever the, the, the United fans, right, start coming together and start uniting against the Glazers, these guys will come out and like, oh, look who we got. Ibrahimovic like bro this bullshit guys do not do not buy this we need them out we need we need them out time is up for them this is our biggest opportunity as well and for um uh, people who, who are watching this and, and thank you um again for watching this right like guys like the United Stand United View the uh, United People's TV fam Stretford Paddock the 1958 bro everybody needs to get together because we've all got a, a big voice we'd like you guys right can reach out to many fans across the world fans in india saudi arabia south africa japan singapore colombia ecuador from brazil america canada you can reach out to these fans and they can get the message as well to to like i bet most of you are wondering why am i now so terrible like why are these players so terrible again it's because how we're run and if we can just expose these guys more and get more fans across the world to even just be on their necks and put pressure on them yeah they'll be gone they'll be gone honestly like it's now or never guys it's a big opportunity and i hope that we can you well <laughs> i won't walk with, with, with all you guys but I, I hope that you can all put your differences aside, right? You're all my United fans. You all care about my United. I care deeply about my United. Right now, it's short-term pain for for a, a long a long-term gain. That's what it is. We need them out. Like I'm I'm tired of the lies, guys. Like they've lied to us for many years. I, I remember in 2019 in Birmingham in my kitchen making a, a video about us trying to get Douglas Costa and uh, the 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 guy that I used to play for Bournemouth. Is, is it David Brooks? Right, and I was like, "How are we going for David Brooks and Douglas Costa? We should be going for guys at a higher level, at a higher standard. Like we, our standards have dropped down so badly, so badly as well. So, guys, please keep pressure on them. Glazers out. I, no matter what they do, no matter if they sign Anthony Casemiro, Frankie Dion, Messi, Kieran Mbappe." Iron Man, the Hulk, bro. Like, you no, know, it doesn't matter. They need to be gone. Nothing changes it. Like, you've had 17 years. 17 years is way too much time for you guys. Please leave. Glazers out, guys. And and again, if you do remember anything um, that the Glazers have lied to to uh, to us, my United fans, about, comment down below. And yeah, the, the other fans can see it as well. But I've been pristine ranting about the Glazers and passionately ranting about the Glazers because I, I do not like these people. They're parasites and they need to leave. And I'm signing out. Keep it real. Peace.